Hello sunshine, this is Joy from Michigan in the US. And I wanna do just a quick, well I always say quick, who knows how long it'll take me. I wanna do a beginner's guide for swiping. I'm gonna try some new techniques on this one and I just wanted to give you some little tips that especially would be helpful for beginners. Um, the drop cloth that I'm using on the background here is actually a contractor bag and I found it works really, really well. You can, I don't know, I don't know where I'm in camera, but you know, maybe this one. The paint peels up pretty easily, so you can clean off your surface if it's bothering you, or you can just leave it like it is. And then, once I have one side that's gotten so dirty that I don't even want to mess with it anymore, I cut off the top layer, and there's another layer underneath because it's a garbage bag. So that works really well. Also, this is one of my very first acrylic pours. I want to say this was a dip, maybe, but I honestly don't remember. And it was before I was making videos, so I can't go back and check. And it's got like this little funky section here and this funky section. I just didn't ever really love this one. So when I first created it, of course, I, I liked it. And so I've signed it right there. I varnished it. Um, and now we're going to pour over it because it's just not one of my favorites. So I'm going to do a little swipe I'm going to do bright colors, but I'm going to swipe. I have a little bit of, well, actually I actually have a lot of purple, violet here. I'm also going to use this metallic gray blue. So here's another tip for beginners. Um, this, these colors that I'm swiping with all have silicone in them. So this metallic gray blue, I'm going to open it up for you. I had a pour that just didn't work out. It was really bad, guys. And so I scraped it and there was so much paint left on my drop cloth and I didn't want to waste it. So I scooped it all up and put it in this cup. Just checking consistency. I'll show you that in a minute too. Put it in this cup and then just labeled it so I know that it's got silicone in it because that's very important because there'll be times when you don't want silicone. So you can save the paint and use it for other things. Just keep in mind if you've used silicone, that's super important because it'll do different things to your paintings. So my consistency is generally, I like to have it when I drizzle a little bit on the top, and I can't tell if you guys can see this. So when I do a drizzle, I'll count one, two, three. And by the time I get to three, real slow counting, the trace of that little drizzle should be gone, every last trace. So this is a metallic gray blue with a whole lot of colors in it. I'm gonna swipe with that. And then I have just a little bit. I might have to mix up a little more, we'll see. We've got a little bit of this white with dragonfly glaze and silicone in it. And it's got other colors in it. So it's gonna be interesting because my I dipped some paper towel on this and it had some other colors and I must have double dipped, but it'll be slightly not pure white. <laughs> it's got some blue and it'll be like a light blue gray. All right. So I'm just going to start by putting some colors on my canvas. So in order to do a swipe, you're going to need, well, if you're anything like me, you're going to need paper towel to wipe your hands on. A lot of people like to use gloves. I don't mind paint on my hands, so I don't typically use gloves, but feel free to throw a pair on if if you don't like that feel of paint on your hands. You can also use dishwashing gloves, which are nice because they can be washed and reused. So you're gonna need paint, you're gonna need a pouring medium. I typically use Floetrol, but Floetrol has become increasingly difficult to find because there was a really huge batch that was a bad batch, and so you can't use that. It's like lumpy and smelly and horrible. So American Floetrol is what I prefer to use. I usually just do paint and Floetrol, no water if I can avoid it. But like I said, the Floetrol has been hard to find. So I have my teal and my violet are both mixed with a different pouring medium. This Artisan that I got at Hobby Lobby. I don't know that I would ever purchase it again just because it was pricey um, compared to Floetrol. So I'm going to try to find some more Floetrol. Um, I do have a little black with silicone too that I might try to use for swiping. So you've got different colors of paint. You've mixed it with your pouring medium until you have the right consistency. You need something to paint on. I like to prop it up on cups and I obviously reuse the same cups over and over so that it doesn't get stuck to the surface because the paint's going to drip all over the place. 
that's the beauty of it. It's a nice, fun, messy painting technique. All right, I'm thinking bright and colorful, but I wanna swipe with that purple. So I don't want mud, I don't want the purple to combine with some other color and make a hideous mixture. So I'm going to avoid yellow, even though yellow is so cheery and I'd love to do it. We're just gonna, we're gonna skip that. So I'm gonna start with some crimson orange. So this is just a combination of cadmium orange and crimson. And just, you know, kind of however, this is the beauty of a swipe. It's whatever your heart desires. Let's put some teal on here. You guys, uh, if you watch very many of my videos, you may already know this, but turquoise is one of my favorite colors. I love teal turquoise colors. This one is called Lake Blue. Most of my paints are Master's Touch, which are from Hobby Lobby. I also use some Liquitex. Um, I recommend if you're just starting out, I would still try to use some of the higher quality paints because I find you get very different results depending on what kind of paint you use. So just keep that in mind. That's my two cents. I would still buy the highest quality paint. Well, I was gonna say the highest quality paint you could afford, but to start off with, I would use name or store brand, just, just so you get the feel of it. So I'm gonna add some copper. This is by Deco Art. Their Extreme Sheen is a beautiful line of metallics. For those of you that are just starting, this is a lot of artists use Extreme Sheen because they just are beautiful metallics. So I'll mix these up with Floetrol and then I put them right back in the same bottle and mark it on the top so that I know that it's ready to go and I don't need to mix it with anything. I have a new favorite and that's this rose gold, although it's been sinking in most of my paintings. So when you're mixing up your paints, you do want your metallics to be just a little bit thicker than your other colors or they will always sink to the bottom and you'll lose them. So a little bit thicker than that three count is helpful. All right, let's add some white. Brighten this up a little bit. And I'm not too worried about my edges. I am gonna go around just to make sure that there's stuff there to flow over, because I will tilt this. Okay, I'm gonna lay that out just in case I need more. And then this color is, I had to double check so I make sure I tell you guys the right names. This is Rouge, which is a very lovely pink. I feel like we've lost our orange. Hopefully it'll pop back up. But I also feel like we've got plenty, plenty of paint. So let's call that good. All right. So we're just going to very gently, slowly, methodically, art therapeutically. I don't even think that's a word, but that's okay. We just made it up. We're just gonna slowly tilt this canvas back and forth. We're just trying to move the paint, cover up any bald spots we might have. With a swipe, I do like my colors to kind of run over each other because then you'll get more colorful cells. I hope these colors go okay together and look lovely. They do right now, I think. So hopefully they stay that way after I swipe. And you don't have to cover your edges. A lot of artists don't worry about their edges because you can always add a solid color later. But I prefer my piece to kind of flow. Let's see if I can get this to go over the edge here without losing too much of my paint. And then I'm just going to tilt it back. You want to recenter your paint so that you don't have all the weight of your paint in one spot. So now I'm going to go through and just pull that paint down on any spots. You can also pick it up off the table and add it back in. And I will be swiping, well, I don't know. I was going to do this one a little different, so we'll see. We'll see how I swipe. But I like to cover all my edges. I just use my finger. 
add the little paint and then pull it, stretch it across to make sure everything's covered. Boy, I missed stuff up here. Let's see if I can get that to cover a little bit better. All right. All right, guys, I'm liking this. It's looking very pretty. So again, just picking up the drippings off the table, covering up my little bald spots that I have. All right. I'm gonna clean off my hands, which are deliciously covered in paint. All right. You can swipe with just about anything. I like to use, I can grab one, laminating sheets sealed on themselves. These ones are well used and need to be cleaned, but they'll work. And I've also used paper towel. So for this one, I'm going to go with paper towel. Get some more of that paint off of me. Okay, so I'm just going to take my paper towel and rip off a piece. I'm going to do it off camera because otherwise I'll drip it in my... So just a little piece and I'm going to rip that in half because I don't need anything that long. And for this experiment, I am going to dip my paper towel in my swipe color and just swipe a little at a time. You can also put a line here and pull it down, however you want to do it. But this, for this particular experiment, I just want to, I'm sorry, I'm doing it off camera. I'm dipping this in there. It's got a lot of paint on it. And then we're just going to, let's put it right here. And then just drop it on the table. Getting some cells, let's see. Ooh. I'm going to try some black, which I'm not 100% certain of because it's just so dark. Oh, it might be. Oh, it dried up, guys. Okay, so my paint, that one I knew that the saran wrap wasn't on completely, so it dried. So we're not going to try black tonight. We're going to try this goofy white. So just rip off a piece that you're comfortable working with. Dip it in. And let's start down here. Very nice. That one's got a lot of silicone in it. All right, I'm gonna go back into my purple. I'm kind of scared to use this gray blue that I have. Let's give it a whirl since we are just experimenting anyways. I kind of have a feeling that I'd like it better if I just went like this with the white. Ooh, or maybe the white and the purple. Okay, let's try this gray blue and see what we get. This is also a great way to determine which effect you like the best. So there are some cells. So another way you can get your cells to come up is to add heat. You can use a creme brulee torch. You can use a embossing gun. So that's what this is, my little embossing gun. They both do basically the same thing. Obviously the embossing gun's kind of loud. All right, I really, really like this section here. So I think what I'm gonna do is add a line of purple and then a line of white and just swipe all the way down and see what we get. 
So it's fun with these older canvases to just take your time and experiment. Oh, there's a cup in my way. You guys, I should know better, but let's move that. Okay. And then we'll put the white on top of that. And this white's almost gone, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it up. All right. And I do have my big swipe sheet that is so in desperate need of cleaning, but it'll do the whole thing at once, so we're gonna try it. Why not? So just drip it. You're just gonna drip it, not drip it. Drop it lightly into the white or your swipe color and then gently pull it down. And then you're always gonna want, which I'm so bad about, but you want something to wipe it off on. So when you're swiping, you wanna make sure that you're cleaning your swipe tool in between swipes. If I were to go back and swipe this again with the same tool without cleaning it first, I would have mud. So, set that out of the way. And let's hit this with some heat. Okay, so when I swiped, I kind of missed this corner. So I'm just going to do a little experiment. You don't want to stretch your cells too much because they will go odd shaped. So I am just going to get some more paper towel. And drip, drip it, man, guys, I'm struggling with that word tonight. Dip, dip it into my white swipe color and I'm just gonna come along here and see what I can do. That's not terrible. All right, guys. So if you wanna take it a step further and I'm not sure I do on this one necessarily, but if you did, you could add some balloon work, which is so much trickier than it sounds. I'm just gonna try to see if I can get that to go over the edge just a little. Everything's moving except what I want to, so I'm just gonna slide it back, no worries. And let that be. I do love the colors in this and it's got a lot of metallic so it's going to dry super sheeny shiny and when you add a little bit of varnish or resin to it it'll be very very pretty with all those metallics. So if you wanted if this this was making you super happy then this is where you'd stop. If you wanted to tweak it a little bit further you can use a balloon which my poor balloon guys it has died. I don't know that I can get anything out of this guy. I'm gonna try, um, let's just do it up here. I'm just gonna put it in and lift it out and it gives you this lovely flower-like effect. Oh goodness, I've got more paper towel than I need. And then I'm just gonna wipe the balloon off, same thing with your balloon as with anything else. Just real gentle. Add some. Ooh, that one's pretty. It will pull up all those colors that are underneath. If you don't have enough paint and you try this, it will be a big mess. And you really, ideally, you would let this dry for a while before you did this. So today is fairly. Well, actually, it's, it's unusually warm, but still not, not hot by any means. Um, so I probably should have left this for, oh, anywhere from half hour to an hour 
to let the canvas absorb some of that paint so that these little flower type things I'm doing hold their shape a little better. And I don't want a lot of it, so I think I'm just gonna stop there and show you one other thing you can do, which I'm not even sure I wanna do on this painting, but since it's a beginner's video, I'd like to kind of take you through some of the fun things you can do. So these cells are pretty small. I mixed my paint with my silicone really, really well. So it broke those silicone bits up into tiny pieces. That's why the cells are so small. I'm gonna hit this with heat one more time, guys. Just to make sure we've got all the cells popping out that we can get. Okay. So you could take a skewer. This is a bamboo skewer actually made for um, kebabs. And you can just kind of trace it through. And it gives, it's gonna be really hard to see on this one because my cells are so small. But it makes this beautiful feathery effect on your cells. Trying to go through some of my bigger ones so you guys can see it when I do the close-up. So don't be af don't be afraid to go in and just have fun, manipulate the paint, move it around, and see what beautiful things you can create. Let's do one more over here, and then I think that's it, guys. All right, I will take you in for a close-up. Real quick, if you if you are one of my faithful subscribers, thank you guys so much. I so appreciate you. It means the world to me that there are people out there watching me on my art journey and hopefully becoming inspired to try something new on their own. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified every time I post a video. Sometimes they're acrylic pour videos. Sometimes they're basic art videos. They will either be labeled acrylic pour or art one. So that kind of gives you a good idea which type of video you're looking at on my channel. All right, guys, I will give you a close up and I will see you on the next one. Thanks so much.